Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So I decided to do a very short video highlighting some of my add-ons that I get the most requests or questions about on my stream. So by far the most questions that I get on stream concerning add-ons is aimed at my bags. So you can see here this is my backpack and a lot of people are telling me this is really nice. I like the way that you have all your armor, your jewelry, your sets your relics, your legendaries, and your consumables organized in your bag. So this is called Adi Bags. Adi Bags is one of the most probably, I, I don't know, not the most popular bag add-on. I think it was popularized a couple of months ago, and I've installed it, and I think it's, it's grew in popularity because it's just how easy it is to actually use it. And uh, if you actually get new items, for example, if I actually craft, let's say, Let's say craft a healing potion and I put it in my bags, it'll show up here, but if I actually turn it off and I open the bag, it'll show up that I got a new potion. So all the recent items will show up at the top. So that's one of the features of the Addy Bags itself. Now by installing Addy Bags, you won't have the legendary section. Because most of these sets, not all of them, I'm only the legendary section for me is actually created by myself so the way you can actually do it you can alt right click on any of the sections and you can actually filter it or create it yourself now before I'm gonna actually create a section I wanted to show you one of the biggest uh, issues not issues but just the sizing of it so the way I have it set my scale is 80% and my minimum bar height is 33% so it kind of goes horizontally now, if, he's, if you set it to something else, it'll just look like this. Now, I don't like that at, at all. I don't like this kind of vertical look at all. So, the way I set it is my maximum back height is set to 33%. And this way, I keep this nice horizontal look where you can see everything. This is just a personal preference, but I, I get this asked a lot as well. So, now let's have a look at how to actually create a specific region or a section in your bags to actually add specific items. You'll have to do this for your legendaries. So, let's say, let's say I'll do it for my uh, Vial of Sight. I'll just drag it and click it here. So, that's the item and I'll add a section for it. I'll name it Lego. I'll name it Lego and the category will be let's say equipment for the time being and I'll click add association so now you see if I move my Addy bags you see there's a specific check section in the Addy bags called Lego and uh, it's because I select equipment it's going to be shown close to my jewelry armory if I actually select ammunition it'll show close to the bottom right hand corner so depending on which one you want to do now I don't want it to be ammunition, I'm going to select it to equipment and if, if you want to actually add another item that you want to categorize as Lego, you just have to drag the item and just put it in here, put it in the icon here so you don't actually have to enter the item's name and do go through the same section, you just add it here and you can see here Lego, my, my archive of fate is now a legendary or at least considered Lego. So I don't need this, but this is how you do it. So I'm just going to remove it for the time being because I already have it done. But if you want to do it yourself, do it. It really, really helps out. And another add-on that a lot of people have asked me around is something that I see on the top left-hand corner. You can see my tranquility here. You can see if I actually cast it. Uh, it, it, it's, it tells me basically the cooldown and duration and who used it. So in the raid setting, It'll show all of the raid cooldowns, or at least the ones that I'm using. So this is called Exorcus Raid Tools. If you type in forward slash E X or T, uh, which stands for Exorcus Raid Tools, you'll get Exorcus Raid Tools uh, panel. So the only thing, so this has a ton of things to like features and things like that you can do. You can actually check out another interesting thing that you can do: raid inspect. You can actually see everyone's gear and talents and item level if you want to see it. Uh, if you actually want to use it, it's, it can be interesting to see uh, the item levels. But the only thing that I actually use is raid cooldowns. So in raid cooldowns, you can actually choose which raid cooldowns you want to track. I want to track rebirth. I want to track innervates. Um, I want to track all the healing cooldowns, basically. And the other interesting thing that I get asked a lot is how can I change the look and feel of it? So you have to go to your appearance and you have to go all the way down to templates. And now you can change if you want to look like this, if you want to look like this. It doesn't change completely because I need to reload, but 
out of all of these i chose this one as one of my preferred options so i'm going to stick with it but if you want to do it if you want to change the look and feel of it this is how it's done so this has been a very short overview look at some of the add-ons that i use some of the add-ons that i get daily questions about so um i enjoy these add-ons very much i i use them every day uh, I, I urge you to try them out if you want to. I feel that they are a very good addition to World of Warcraft game itself. So thank you for watching this little overview guide of the add-ons that I use. And I'll see you in my next little guide.